Now it is time to show you some examples with MATLAB. Um, I am comparing here from the previous video reference point code and here is the reference point code and the reference model code. Um, you can um, basically pause the video, get the screenshot, you, you can implement it for yourself. Basically, um, if you didn't watch the previous video, this video may not make, make a lot of sense to you. Um, so please watch it first. All right. So total simulation time is 10 seconds for both reference point and reference model based designs. I am considering the same uncertainty here. Of course, reference model code includes the initialization of the reference model, which I choose it to be the same as the X initial condition. You can explore different initial conditions. And to deepen your understanding, please do so. I am choosing alpha, the gain of the nominal control signal to be two in both. And I am going to compare, basically, I'm going to use two learning gains. The first one will be five for both and then 50. Um, this part, this part, data recording and plotting part of the codes will be more or less the same. Um, however, reference mo reference point code, since we would like to minimize the error between X minus C, I am going to compare X and C. In the second one, since the error that we would like to minimize is X minus XR, I am, I am comparing XR and X. All right, in the reference point code on the left, here is our control signal, adaptive control and the nominal control. Here is the discretized version of the uh, W hat, which is gamma X. And here is the error X minus C for the reference point code. I mentioned in the previous video, at the end of the previous video, X minus C can be high and uh, this can affect negatively your transient performance or learning performance. In the basically reference model code, we have X minus XR here that drives your learning parameter update law. All right, let's dive into the results. Um, I use the command for both reference point based design and the reference model based design that looks like this. This is the same command that I used here, so I am not plotting it. But instead, I am plotting the XR, this green line. So basically, this green line showing XR, reference model state, uh, which is driven by this command in the second code. Actually, if you go back, I am using the same command, which is like one for the first five seconds and then minus one for the next uh, five seconds. I have the same command here. I am just not recording it for plotting purposes since reference model code tries to minimize X and XR. Uh, all right, so um, here left reference point based adaptive control design when gamma equals to five and right when gamma equals to five reference model based design. If you compare these two figures, the magnitude of the control signals and their behavior more or less like the same. However, your system jumps up to this point and here it is much closer to one and here probably this is like 1.4 or something. So reference model here, reference model based design achieves slightly better closed loop system performance in suppressing the effect of the uncertainty WX. Now let's increase the gain from five to 50 for both reference point based design and the reference model based design. And now the difference between these two results are dramatic. The reference point based design when gamma equals to 50, you learn the effect of the uncertainties based on uh, this parameter update law x, x minus c. Now, initially x minus c is one in here, this error, and now it is multiplied by 50. And this is 
causing like an integrator type of an effect. So you kind of and subject to high gain type of an um, effect. So your system does oscillations, significant oscillations until you started to learn your um, uh, until you started to you know improve your system performance x to track command c however in a reference model based design w hat dot is gamma x x minus x r x minus x r initially zero because i initialize them to be zero and as i mentioned you can um, explore different initial conditions but in practice um, since the x is measurable it is possible to select XR close to X on a ballpark. Of course, you may have some sensor measurement noise, so on and so forth, but um, that difference won't be as big as there as a reference point based of a design. And as a consequence, yes, you still have oscillations, but you don't have much overshoots and you can much more closely, especially after five seconds, compare the responses after five seconds you way more smoothly track the reference model and here the reference model approach tries to minimize this error so comparing these two results clearly this outperforms a reference point based design uh, that was my point that i tried to make at the end of my previous video so reference model based of a design usually I mean, I would like to use the word usually, I don't want to say generally, right? Um, of course, you know, I have a lot of experience on adaptive control, both during my PhD, after my PhD, working with companies and different organizations, but I didn't see 100% of the all experimental systems in the world. But based on my experience, reference model based adaptive control is a winner, and that's why it is preferred more in industry applications all right thanks for watching and i hope these videos are helpful leave a comment um, let's discuss um, if anything is missing and again my main intention is for you to understand adaptive control in all details um, without any gap so your comments questions are very important take care guys